Hey everyone, so let's start with a quick overview of the whole platform. Before we get started with building our first funnel, let's first know something about the platform itself and how it, you can actually use it to build your pages and funnels and, and generate sales and all these things. So yeah, let's get started. So basically this is the platform. This is where we're inside the system and uh, depending on what kind of template we selected for our funnel or for a website maybe, here is going to load. So this is your working area where you can fully modify the design. And everything is drag and drop, so you don't have to know anything as code or whatever it is. You can just drag and drop your elements to arrange their position if you want to move them. If not, you can just double click to start editing your text, for example, to editing your button as well, to change your icons and everything. So basically you have different controls for each individual. We call them widgets. Basically we call all these things widgets and when you click on it, you can see actually that you have the edit option, the animation, the copy, the delete. Uh, the button has obviously more like a link, like styling. And you can click on any of the widgets on the, on the page and you'll see the different controls that they have. If you double click, you can actually open the first one. So basically you can edit the button text. You can add a second line of text if you wish. Uh, you can also adjust the icon to be something like this, for example. Uh, and you can select where the button do you want to go to the next step to an existing uh, an external uh, or a file or a pop-up anything you can select and it's really easy it's basically self-explanatory and you can play around and check all these things uh, and you can click on save changes to save the whole thing so how is the whole page basically structurized it's structurized into blocks so everything that you see is organized into blocks and this is one block this is another block, this is a third block. And everything is split into columns. And the idea is because the columns help you organize your content. And you can see the percentages and you can uh, click on the handles and adjust how, you know, what is the width of the different columns in your block. So it is made so that it is really easy for you to organize your content because symmetry is really important. So keep it very symmetrical and consistent throughout your pages. Now, every block, of course, you can modify different settings about it, such as the background, which can be an image or just a color, for example, something like this, if you want to you know, separate it uh, in some way. You can add a video background if you wish, an overlay, or add an anchor point. So you can actually scroll to that section from a button or some kind of a link. So yeah, this way you can organize your content easily. This is another block. Basically, we have a place that is split into columns. And again, this one, this column in particular, has a white background. But you can actually modify the opacity, for example. And uh, yeah, you can change the color if you wish. So you can play around with all these things to create something really amazing for your pages. But it is basically very, very simple. If you want to add, uh, to add another block between each two sections, for example, between this section, and uh, this one, when you click here, you have the option to add a new block. There you have the amazing designs that we already created for you so that you don't have to bother with creating yourself. So let's say that you want to add, I don't know, a video section, for example. And you, here you have different designs for video sections that you can pick one and add to the whole design. So let's say that you like something like that maybe. And you can click on it and the whole section is being added to your design right away. You don't have to build it yourself. It actually comes with two blocks, one for the text and one for this section with the, with the video be, being kind of on top of the other block. So it's really easy and simple to modify everything. So some of, the, some of my tips, for example, when building uh, all your pages is to keep it with good spacing. So as you can see, you have pretty good spacing on top and on bottom that you can also adjust with using the handles. So keep a good spacing that lets your design to breathe. And this is important for readability and basically visual aesthetics. So keep your design with spacing so that it can breathe. Um, and then everything is basically consistent, has to be consistent and you can play around and we have a whole video about design tips and tricks. And this is it. This is how easy it is to create your page. Basically, that's the highlight of the whole system is obviously building your pages. 
but this is just a small part of the whole thing because we are here for building amazing pages but they are into photos and into maybe into websites if you check out the next section uh, uh, at the bottom so here for example how do you access all the photos you just click on the funnel button actually and that's it on the left middle you'll find this funnel icon and there inside the funnel you can see all the different steps that you have inside in this case we have kind of a big funnel uh, but you can see all the different steps inside and if you want to create a new funnel so let's start with something that is completely new you can just go into the funnel so when you go into the funnel and click back you can actually see all the different funnels that you have when you click on create a funnel you can actually select a design of a funnel that we already have in the system so you can filter by the different categories funnels and with one click you can add any of the funnels that you want let's say this one let's call it funnel example and click on save and just like that for a few seconds you created a brand new funnel from a template again you can start modifying the page design you can adjust the paddings between the columns you can modify anything the way you want now you can add different elements by clicking on add widget so if you want to add for example a new button that is here below this subheadline you just click on the add widget option and like i said we call them widgets and you can select what kind of a widget you want to put there for example a button so you can drag and drop the blue line will indicate where you'll be putting this button itself so just put it there and you can now edit the button let's say call to action just for the sake of the example and you can adjust how much spacing you have on top so you can use the handle and then when you click on it you have the option to align it to the left that's it you can of course edit how it looks maybe the border radius maybe you want to increase the the font size make it bolder and make it bigger so you can play around in even the letter spacing so you can play around and see which and what kind of design suits your needs when ready click on save changes and that's it you can add any type of a widget into your design to create your own unique blocks and layouts for your widgets now in this case we have this background so you can also adjust here you know, what kind of an image you have if you want to have an overlay or not have an overlay so you can play around and build amazing designs yourself if you wish if you don't like colors but i think they're pretty good as well so this way you can modify everything now what if you want to change the color of the whole thing this red color that is throughout the whole design well actually for that reason we created the global styling and if you click on the brush here you can actually access the global styling for texts that you can modify globally the text throughout your design or you can also adjust what kind of fonts you'll be using so you can add more fonts from here so that they will be available when you're editing your text and the other one would be the color so if you want to change the bread color to something else quickly without having to change it on all the different places you can select the color you know from the color palette here or from you know the color picker so let's say that we want our brand let's say it's orange or some kind of a yellow for example and you can just select it and click on confirm and as you can see on all the places that we use the the red the, the red color it's now replaced with the yellow in this case this is just a, a, an image that's why it doesn't change and this one strangely why it didn't change maybe we didn't use the global color that's why and now just like that in a few seconds we change the color to yellow so he, from here you can adjust all these things such as color palette what kind of fonts do you have and the global styling of the text from the website layout you can actually modify how narrow or you know, wide do you want your page to be by default it is 1100 pixels but let's say that we want to put it at like this as you can see the content became a lot uh, wider on the sides or you can even do it narrower like this even like this so yeah in my suggestion is something like around 1100 1200 is a good good layout but really it really depends on what kind of a page do you have now everything that you do on your pages is mobile responsive so by default we're obviously editing on desktop but you can click on mobile for example and you can see how your page is going to look on mobile and as you can see it everything scales down and basically you don't really have to do any modifications 
But if you wish, you can also do some modifications where you can hide different sections and add new ones that are only available for the mobile version. We have a whole video dedicated on editing your pages on mobile, so you can check out that video as well. Different things that you can also do is you can build out pop-ups as well for your funnels. So you can go to pages, add new and select a pop-up. There you can actually create all sorts of different pop-ups into your pages that are not part of the whole flow. So for example, if you want to add some kind of a promo or maybe um, like, like an opt-in when a person is going to leave your funnel, you can just select such design. You can fully modify it with the builder and have the pop-up to show in the pop-up settings on page exit. So when somebody tries to exit, that pop-up will show. And of course you have to click to show on all the pages that are part of your funnel. That's it. This is how simple it is. So now if we go and preview our page, when we try to exit, the pop-up will show right away on the page. And we just did it in less than 30 seconds. We have the whole pop-up and it is now working. Of course, you have to modify what kind of message do you want to say on the pop-up as well. What else you can do is there is so many different things, of course. So, um, but very quickly, you have the store functionality where you can actually see you know your orders products discount codes that you can do etc connect your payment processors as well but we have a whole video about that and we are talking about all this in the sales funnels but basically here you can create your product that you'll be selling in your funnels if you have a sales funnel and it is really easy really simple you can sell any type of a product and uh, when you start the product you can see inside you know you can add titles descriptions pricing you can do the product to be a subscription even, create categories and even create variations. So really simple and easy. And the next thing obviously would be the payment processors because you cannot collect payments without a payment processor. So when you go to settings, payments, you can connect one of the many, many different payment processors that we have available for you. So you can click on it, add your keys and it is connected to your funnel or your website. So yeah, this is about the store and again, we have a whole video dedicated on the store itself. Now, if you go to the Engage section, you can actually find our CRM. Basically, this is available with each funnel. You have an individual CRM where every lead, every contact, every store, product and purchase will be recorded here. So you can easily find the person, what they've purchased or what kind of a form they submitted. So you can easily find everything from here. No matter if it's lead generation or a sales funnels, you will see all that here. And also for memberships. If you have a membership type of a product or in general membership on your funnels and websites, you can find all the users, groups and settings in this area called members. This is how, how simple it is to actually work with all that. And in this funnel specifically, I can show you, for example, how when you go to the next step and well, actually this is a sales funnel, but uh, yeah, if you have a form on the page, that information that is submitted on the form will go directly into the engage section. So let's put a form just for the sake of the example. Let's put it here and let's collect this information and let's resize the form, add some spacing just for the example and let's preview the page. Now we have a form, we can add some name to it, add some email. subject message it doesn't matter click on submit and obviously by default it will go to the next step as part of the whole process anyways we just wanted to submit this form we can just delete it now and if you go to the engage section you will see that it actually created the contact right away so you can see everything about that user what kind of a form it submitted so you can see what what was their messaging and so on you can see some orders if they already have orders being submitted or if not they'll say it's there is no orders if they have subscriptions or some or memberships you can also see those things here as well so this is how simple it is to to use the engage basically you don't have to do anything it actually tracks everything that you uh, you collect as information and you store it here so that you can find it at any time and that's basically it. This is how simple it is. Obviously, you have different things such as SEO, custom code, a file manager, 
you can modify your favicon social sharing images and you can connect the domain at any time as well to your phono uh, you can change the language of the phono as well the the formats of the time zone as well the format of the date um, and so on uh, you can connect your applications such as you know apikis webhooks or any type of different application that you want to connect into your um, into your phono and the personalization this we have a whole video about that basically for personalization personalization of the pages really simple and easy now to finalize we have a dashboard as well you can actually connect uh, you know you can have a user um, you can invite actually admins that have access to a specific funnel that you might build so this is especially amazing if you have a team so that you can invite team members to your funnels or if you're building for customers you can actually invite an individual customer to their funnel so you can click on add an admin uh, select what where do you want to invite them to a specific funnel to a specific website or to the whole project and you can give them specific access to their funnel or their website or their project uh, so you can easily organize that so that they get access the way you want you can also see the affiliate where you can actually start referring customers and you'll get a percentage of every sale of course you can also modify your admin as well so this is it this is how easy it is to yeah to work with the system it's really easy to manage your pages basically that's the the main thing about a system is obviously managing your pages but of course there are so many different things such as the funnels how you can you know manage your funnels from the button you can see statistics and different things the funnel settings uh, you can create new steps of your funnel from here and you can add a page or a pop-up you can do a b testing you can see the conversions with one click it's made so that everybody can understand it but it just takes some time to create a few funnels and just to learn everything but it is very straightforward and if you if you play around a few hours i think you understand all of the things that you see here it is made for some everybody can really modify everything about their funnels and pages so that they you have the most uh you take the most of uh, your traffic to convert them into leads and into sales later on so this is it this is how simple it is and in the next videos and more connected videos under this one you'll learn more information about you know different things that you can do with the system so check out these things to learn how to use the platform and yeah we can start i guess after this video to start building our first funnels uh, for lead generation and for sales whatever whatever is the goal of your business and your next campaign so we can start with those all right i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, i hope to see you in the next one where we'll be starting to build our first funnels together